The governor of Michigan has Eastern Canadians wondering how they became so dependent on a pipeline coming from the United States. Well, host of Real Ag Radio, Sean Haney, joins us now with the latest insight. And Sean, as always, thanks for your time here this morning. So if you would, bring us up to speed on this threat to shut down Line 5. Hey, Jenna, great to be with you here this morning. This has been a week for pipeline talk, uh, absolutely for sure, and, and not in good ways. So Line 5 supplies 50% of the energy to Ontario and Quebec. So this is not only an agriculture issue, but also uh, an issue for all Canadians on the eastern side of the country. Governor Whitmer in Michigan has ordered the shutdown of Line 5, which is a pipeline run by Enbridge. Enbridge has stated that they will not comply, and uh, it's going to be decided in court whether or not the governor can order the shutdown. Governor Whitmer is threatening to sue Enbridge now for all their profits related to post-May 12th activity, May 12th being the date that she ordered the shutdown. And the Canadian government is now taking court action to support Enbridge. So uh, we heard earlier this week, the energy secretary at the White House was asked if they will intervene. They said they will not. They will let the courts decide. So the Canadian government not really necessarily getting a big, uh, a big back pat of uh, support from the Biden administration at this point. So what would be the impact of the ag in eastern Canada should this happen? Yeah, so dramatic. And, and, and like, like you said in the opening there, a, a lot of Canadians really wondering why, why are we re so reliant on this Line 5 that is coming out of the United States? Now, most of the, a lot of the energy that is in Line 5 is actually coming out of Western Canada, taking a route through, through Michigan. In a letter from the OFA, the Ontario Federation of Agriculture, to Prime Minister Trudeau back on January 25th, they said, our farmers rely on Line 5 for propane to fuel grain drying, to power irrigation systems, and for HVAC systems to maintain perishable crops and to maintain livestock facilities, including barns and brooding pens. And uh, if this is shut off, the court does order it. Uh, you know, Obviously, it's going to require the transportation of energy through truck and, and barge, which uh, Canadian Energy Minister Seamus O'Regan said yesterday, it'll be messy, it'll be polluting, and it'll be expensive to for that to happen. So we'll, we'll see what the court decides here, but this is definitely an issue that uh, Canadians on the east, eastern side of the country are following very, very closely. And Sean, what are you hearing from the, the farmers and folks? What are the next steps that they're wanting to see taken or that can be taken? Well, I think there's a lot of pressure on the Canadian government to raise the volume on this and, and possibly try to, you know, I think there's a good relationship between the Trudeau government and the Biden White House. I, I think that's the play that we're going to see a lot more of here is, is people trying to push this uh, the Trudeau government to put pressure on President Biden to intervene. Is, is this the way that the U.S. And, and the state of Michigan wants to treat such a valuable trading partner like Ontario and Quebec and, and Canada overall. Uh, in Canada, there's a lot of questions about you know, why do we even have, why, why do we, wh how do we get ourselves in this situation? Why don't we have like a pipeline that goes from Western Canada to Eastern Canada? Something that uh, people in Quebec have been very resistant to support. All right. Well, Sean, as always, thank you very much for your insight. Host of Real Ag Radio, Sean Haney, connecting with us today. And, of course, you can catch him on his show, Real Ag Radio. That airs at 4.30 Eastern each weekday afternoon on Rural Radio 147 on Sirius XM. And, of course, we'll chat with Sean again here on the Market Day Report tomorrow morning.